Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the sitcom Hi the High. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. Hi the High is a timeless gem that has left indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of Hide the High. Linda Reagan was born in 1949 in the sitcom She Plays April. In 1984, when she was in the sitcom, she was 35, and now she's 74. I don't want an ordinary one! You promised me a special license and that's what we're going to have! A promise is a promise, is that clear? Lovely Kenny Connor and um, Peter Butterworth and um, a couple of them, but, but it wasn't the, the original carry-ons that I would love to. Felix Bonas was born in 1922 in the sitcom he plays Fred Quilly. In 1980, when he was in the sitcom, he was 58, and sadly he passed away on September 13, 2009, at the age of 87. No, 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 that's, that's quite all right. When I got these things off, I'll hang him in the shed behind the kiddies' zoo. The monkeys won't mind. <laughs> Barry Howard was born in 1937. In the sitcom, he plays Barry Stewart Hargreaves. In 1980, when he joined the sitcom, he was 43, and sadly he passed away on April 28, 2016, at 78. It's Cockney rhyming slang. <laughs> Paul Shane was born in 1940 in the sitcom he plays Ted Bovis. In 1980, when he was in the sitcom, he was 40 years old, and sadly he passed away on May 16, 2013, at 72. <laughs> <laughs> What's he mean, bingo fiddle? It's nothing, it's just sort of perch. You see, it's my personality that sells those bingo tickets, and Joe Mappin doesn't pay me any more for it, does he? In your fingertips, you're trying hard not to show it. Nikki Kelly was born in 1951 in the sitcom she plays Sylvia Garnsey. In 1980, when she joined the sitcom, she was 29, and now she's 72. No stage I have a lot of experience of you, Sylvia. Yes, Gladys, but not quite as much as you. <laughs> now, before you meet all the... If Nikki could share with us what we're laughing at, you know, that would be absolutely marvellous and the whole studio could laugh with you. But, of course, well, of course I couldn't share it, you know. So, um, yeah. Jeffrey Holland was born in 1946 in the sitcom he plays Spike Dixon. In 1980, when he was in the sitcom, he was 34, and now he's 77 years old. Crown the princess, wiggle the tentacles, squirt the ink. Got it. <laughs> Look, there's just one thing that's worrying me, Ted. How long do I have to be under the... Uh, I knew it very well, knew the situation very well. And of course, with the youngsters, such as yourself at the time, maybe, uh, it, it appealed because of the... Ruth Maydog was born in 1943 in the sitcom she plays Gladys Pugh. In 1980, when she was in the sitcom, she was 37 years old. And sadly, she passed away on December 9, 2022, at the age of 79. A chock full of fun, laughter, and carefree wheezes at Sunny Marplins. Before I give you the list of today's events, here is Anna. Uh, no, she, she was a wonderful character. And quite frankly, I wouldn't be sitting here unless I had had Heidi. Sue Pollard was born in 1949. In the sitcom, she plays Peggy Oliver and Shaw. In 1980, when she joined the sitcom, she was 31, and now she's 74. ...with an harpoon. <laughs> and if they don't get a last soon, he'll use it. <laughs> hey, kids, have you heard the news? Harold and Millen's won the Nobly Needs competition. Sometimes when you go, now let me see. I just fancy so and so. Something else I was watching, I was, you know, you know absolutely bored with. Yeah. And I went, right, let's have a look at this. And then I saw it and I went, do you know... Roy Heather was born in 1935 in the sitcom he plays Inspector Palmer. 
In 1981, when he was in the sitcom, he was 46, and sadly, on September 3rd, 2014, he passed away 79. To Palmer, sir. Mr. Bovis has been apprehended carrying a large amount of money, which he alleges belongs to you. If you confirm this, that's the end of the matter. Simon Cadell was born in 1950. In the sitcom, he plays Jeffrey Fairbrother. In 1980, when he was in the sitcom, he was 30 years old, and sadly, he passed away on March 6, 1996, at 45. Thing. You can have 20 quid a week expenses, top whack. So move it. It's get your finger out time. <laughs> Ronnie Brody was born in 1918. In the sitcom, he plays Plummer. In 1981, when he was in the sitcom, he was 63 years old, and sadly he passed away on May 8th, 1991, at 72. With an ice pick, you know, in Mexico. They use a lot of ice in Mexico because it's hot. Don't be so familiar. <laughs> Leslie Dwyer was born in 1906. In the sitcom, he plays Mr. Partridge. In 1980, when he was in the sitcom, he was 74. And sadly, he passed away on December 26, 1986, at the age of 80. <laughs> Who does she think she's fooling? She couldn't care a monkey's whether she sees him again or not. It's the same speech every week. Diane Holland was born in 1930. In the sitcom, she plays Yvonne Stewart Hargreaves. In 1980, when she joined the sitcom, she was 50 years old. And sadly, she passed away on January 24, 2009, at 78. Anyway, squadron leader, you can stop Mr. Bovis from reducing the conversation to the level of the barrack room. That remark was in. When we reflect on the incredible journey of Hide the High that took place from 1980 to 1988, witnessing their growth and transformation, we can see that the connection from those years left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.